Hey, it's Tyler Cross. My name is Kyle Sweeney from Philadelphia Barrage. I'm at Lacrosse, also with the Philadelphia Wings. Uh, welcome to New York City. More importantly, welcome to my crib. So now I come out of the elevator here. Nice little uh, entry area. One thing I love about this building is they leave it up to the, uh, the tenants to decorate, so it gives it a little more homey feel. It's not so much of a, a brass uh, like you're in a hotel. So we move into the, uh, to the foyer part of the, of the apartment. Now I saw my boy Berg's uh, crib last week and obviously I'm not dealing with the same type same type situation as Berg's out in Downingtown. New York City you only uh, you only have so much space. So you see this is uh, my office, if you will. A little desk, just do whatever works and design stuff I do here. This is me and my roommate's maps. Um, <clears throat> he actually put pegs everywhere we've been in the world. Ultimately uh, you want this thing filled with little black dots by the time you die. So this is really the only um, <clears throat> lacrosse memorabilia I have here. This is uh, a little Georgetown lacrosse thing. Reminds me of, we started with 12 freshmen, we ended with 12 seniors. That was uh, a really cool thing for us. Um, it was like some of my best friends to this day. Made some amazing, uh, amazing friendships. Move into one of my favorite rooms in the house, which is the kitchen. Uh, most men don't like the kitchen, but in New York, we're actually blessed with a pretty big sized kitchen for for the city. So I love to cook. I worked in a restaurant for 10 years. So this is kind of where I, uh, I like to get down. Everyone wants to know what's inside the refrigerator. The man is on the road a lot. I don't have a ton of stuff, so I just keep basically the essentials, liquid, some food, standard, standard male fridge, the Gatorades, your nutrition shakes, Red Bulls. I don't drink Red Bull much. If I'm, my advice to the kids is stay away from the Red Bull. It's no good for you. Uh, waters, OJ milk, pretty much the standard. The freezer is pretty bare, some frozen stuff, some chicken, but uh, I haven't been around much lately. It was indoor start and travel not, so fridge is kind of weak. This is a huge topic of conversation. We always have people over in this apartment, and everyone always wants to know what this is. And um, <clears throat> these are really, really old buildings, and some of the technology hasn't caught up yet either. So what this is, notice I'm going to hold my finger on it. This is a phone that everyone likes to pick up and say, does this thing work? What is this? But actually, the second you lift it up, when this comes up, it contacts the doorman downstairs. So I've got my friends here at a party, and they're talking, hey, this thing doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. And the poor doorman's downstairs wondering, what is going on up there? What's all that noise? I hope it's not an emergency. All of the above. So it's pretty funny, but this thing has uh, it's caused some controversy before. Move on into the dining room. Most people in the city don't get the luxury of having dining rooms, so it's really nice to me. I think it's really nice to be able to sit down and have a real meal like a family with my roommates. Um, unfortunately, we don't use it much for eating. This actually has been known to uh, a lot of money has swapped hands at this table. This is basically the card and dice table. Uh, my roommate Trevor and I would love to have people over, and uh, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of fun nights here. This is the reading chair. I don't think I've ever sat in this chair. Actually, um, this is the first time, and I certainly have never read in this chair. So I don't think anyone else has either. But hopefully, someone will come over one day and sit in this chair and read. This is one of my favorite pieces of art we have in the whole house. It's actually, um, I don't know the date on it, it's really old. I got it from my great uncle. He, um, <clears throat> this is actually an original beer poster. There's a beer called Arrow Beer, however many years ago. And it was really, before they made posters, this thing is made out of wood. Move into the living room. Um, got Matty Ulrich, New York Titans, San Francisco Dragons. This is when I am home, which isn't often. This is where I do the majority, spend the majority of my time. Right here, this is my spot. This couch has seen many guests, um, friends, other professional lacrosse players. Actually, my boy Ryan Boyle, Ripper, sat here last night when we were chilling. Um, <clears throat> but this couch has seen a lot of people sleeping on it. This thing is quite comfortable. Best money I've ever spent in this apartment is on this couch right here. Yeah, keep the standard magazines here, obviously. Gotta have inside lacrosse. Um, got my boy Junior on the cover here. Uh, I only got a couple issues. I might even have some more down here, but always have inside lacrosse running around. Me and my roommate, a former college lacrosse player, always keeping up to date um, on what's new, what's going on. This is another 
Classic investment. Um, 52 inch Philips TV. High def. Um, when I am here, watch some games. Anytime the Philadelphia teams are on TV. If I can catch the Sixers, the Phils, NL East champion Phils, um, the Eagles, and even the Flyers when they're playing the Rangers or Devils. We'll be sitting right there watching this big old TV. Over at the bookshelf here, uh, some photo albums. This is actually some cool stuff right here. I'm a huge fan of knickknacks, and as I'm getting older and getting more mature, I've uh, been tending to get rid of some of the knickknacks, but these are some things I had to keep. Um, these are my, my boy Thomas Hayek, little bobblehead, captain of the wings. Jeffrey Rack, Jeff Rackliff, the assistant captain of the wings. And this right here is the greatest player I ever played with, Tommy Hollywood Marachek, a.k.a. Tucci. Um, playing with him for one year was an awesome experience, and he actually uh, taught me a ton. So, like a geek in the locker room, I asked him to sign it. He probably thought I was such a piker, but I was a rookie, and he was... Uh, he was someone I grew up watching. The last little knickknack is Crease Monkey's trophy. We won out in Hawaii last year. Crease Monkey's beat um, Wimmer Solutions. Um, the Wimmer Solutions team wasn't was really as strong. I mean, they would have been better if they didn't have Matty Ulrich on the team, but he was there. So we had to beat them down. And they ran, they ran their mouth a lot at the bar the night before, too. My boy Spider-Man stopped over for a little bit. What's going on? He's been known to show up left and right here and there. Um, he's harmless, don't worry about him.